is, is what is the damage that could be done in beating Trump if uh, some of these disputes move from issues to personal character questions, which if you're saying, you know, I don't believe you're a racist, you're about to unload a critique that basically says, well, I think you kind of were a little bit racist in this way. What is the effect of that on the nominee if Biden were to become the nominee? And what is the effect on the debates if they move in this more personal direction? Also, it has the effect of, of changing the way we understand issues. So there's a reason that court order busing hasn't been used in this country in more than 40 years in any significant way because it was a failure and both black and white parents didn't like it. They liked the local busing that Harris benefited from, what Biden called voluntary busing, but court-ordered forced busing just basically turned all of education into a big toxic racial issue and people got tired of that so we have to ask ourselves do we want to go back to saying that that's a good remedy for this country i don't think so and i don't think that's what anybody intends so this was just being used as a kind of symbolic issue i want you know as soon as, soon as i heard uh, kamala harris say the word busing last night i knew exactly where she was going because in preparation for doing the town hall with her i read her book and and near this goes to debate prep for the biden team because all they had to do all they had to do was get to page 11 to know this was coming because here is the passage on page 11 of kamala harris's book i would walk to the corner and get on the bus to thousand oaks elementary school i only learned later that oh my god they're adorable how you doing black children from the flatlands being bust in one direction and wealthier white children from the Berkeley Hills bust in the other. At the time, all I knew was that the big yellow bus was the way I got to school. Looking at the photo of my first grade class reminds me of how wonderful it was to grow up in such a diverse environment because the students came from all over the area. We were a varied bunch. Some grew up in public housing and others were the children of professors. I remember celebrating varied cultural holidays and and learning to count she gets a ride languages I remember parents including my mom volunteering in the classroom to lead science and arts projects with the kids uh, and it goes on and, and we are, uh, that is the, that is a major success story uh, in the history of bus it is and I, I, I wanted to respond to Jasmine but I, I also worry I think a lot of Democrats worry about whether uh, whether these debates become too personal, too character-based. Uh, I think there's a lot of overhand from so 2016 where it seems so like stinking some of the cute. charges became more about character than about pers uh, than policy. But I think this is... Uh -huh. I think people are also trying to see who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, uh, with, with Donald Trump. It's a great hike. And attack dirty. Whose uh, idea? That's a good boy. For the vice president is uh, that he he has I, I don't dispute and I don't think most Americans dispute that he has a strong record on civil rights issues, particularly in the last decade. And obviously, uh, I think a lot of people in the African American community remember what she so vividly how we work side by side with Barack Obama. I think the question for the vice president is that he has to demonstrate that he is. People believe he's the best person in Canada to go up against Trump. That a lot of people believe that. That's why he's been leading in the polls. One of the reasons he's got to demonstrate that in debate after debate. And I think that's the challenge for him. I think if it's, I don't think it's, this is really about civil rights issues. It was a discussion of those issues, but it was Kamala demonstrating that she's tough enough to take on Trump. And I think that the vice president had some doubts there. Now it's a long road. Uh, Barack Obama did do so well in his first debates, and I can I can tell you he won the election, he won the primary uh, after that. So it's a long, long road from here. Vice President has a lot of opportunity. Yeah, future, right? uh, so, so we've got, uh, we've got my, my favorite quote of the day, uh, which I'm going to read to you. Uh, this is Greg Young, uh, and it's not for me. It's not about the candidates he mentions. It's about the concept he talked about. He said, "I followed it all pretty closely, and I'm still a Warren fan, and grateful to Sanders for waking people up in 2016 and 40 years of consistency." Where's Chloe? Now has my Chloe. It's good to have choices and debate over policy along with strong candidates. Uh, 
States. And Maria Teresa, that's the reaction that the Probably party is idea. hoping voters have to these debates. Chloe! Sabrina! 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 They recognize there's something off with this country, but it's not enough to go after Donald Trump. You actually have to come in and think boldly. Sabrina! The reason a lot of folks initially voted for Donald Trump was because they never recovered economic.